Alright guys, welcome to a video that uh, I didn't really plan on recording, however I I was going to play some Fortnite, but I uh, decided against it and to do this instead, and I'm going to go through what I do usually to warm up when I play CSGO. And right now my CSGO is in full screen windowed mode, and usually it's in full screen, and I switch between 4.3 resolution and 16.9 resolution all the time. So, uh, my settings aren't always like this. I just wanted to sort of show what I usually do. Now, to start off with, I usually go to Crashes Corsair. Sorry, I should have said Crashes Crosshair Generator, not Corsair. Not a keyboard boy. Generator. And uh, give this a minute to load up. It shouldn't take too long. I'm on an SSD. So, it should be fairly quick. All right, good. Uh, it doesn't matter what side you select, and then you get in here, and you can select a crosshair from one of the pro players, some of the community, um, and all this does is change what it looks like in here. So, let me show you what I use, my view model and everything like that. Uh, this is Shroud's, um, I guess auto exec. Uh, you can just Google Shroud config and download his config, put it in your CSGO config folder, uh, rename it to whatever you want. I renamed mine to Shroud. It will be in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Counter Strike Global Offensive, CSGO, CFG. And then you put it in the CFG fo uh, folder. And mine is right here. So this is the one that I am running whenever I do exec uh, shroud. And it just binds everything to what he has. Once you get in here, I want to keep my crosshair how it is right now, but you can you can select different styles. Stuff like that. And uh, you can you can select from pretty much any of the top teams, all their players. I'm not sure whose I have right now, but I think it's uh, I don't know who it is actually. I thought it was one of the Austral Australis guys, but I don't think so. So then, okay, can't name right now. Let's get out of here. So that's the first thing that I do whenever I want to start warming up for CSGO if I want to change my crosshair. Now the next thing I do is I go into my workshop maps and let's see, where is it? There's a config generator if you want to do that, but I want to keep my current config. Next I go to aimbots. And you don't really have to do aimbots if you don't want to. An alternative to doing aimbots is to go into just a deathmatch. Um, depending on the servers you usually play on, whether it's like Face it or ESEA, you might want to do a community server uh, where the tick rate is 128 uh, instead of matchmaking tick rate. Uh, Shroud's auto exec comes with binds. So on the numpad, 4 buys AKM4, 5 buys uh, armor, uh, 6 buys diffuse kit, 3 buys smoke, Two buys flash, one buys frag, and the period buys. Uh, I thought I bought a Molotov. I'm not sure why I can't carry it. Uh, zero buys um, a Desert Eagle. Seven buys a P250. Nine buys an AWP. Uh, I'm not sure what eight does. I don't, know, I don't know if it does anything. But once I get into aimbot, I just sort of practice my aim a little bit. And I won't go through all of it that I usually do, but I usually try to get a couple hundred kills just to get used to my sensitivity, my resolution, stuff like that. <coughs> it's not too 
ideal, I would say, to practice just warming up on aimbot since you have pretty much uh, five ping all the time, or I guess technically zero, I don't know, uh, land pings. Um, let me see if I go through any more. Um, no, the only other thing that I would do is maybe uh, aim courses or something, but I'm not going to do that in this video because I don't usually do that in uh, my actual warming up. Okay, so next what I do, uh, don't go official matchmaking yet. I always go practice with bots, and I practice my smokes, Molotovs, flashes, stuff like that. And I really love Mirage. I pretty much only play matchmaking on Mirage, <clears throat> although right now, while I'm at a lower rank of Master Guardian, I am trying my best to go any of these eight maps right here. Mirage, Cash, Inferno, Overpass, Train, Nuke, Dust 2, and Cobblestone to learn more smokes uh, where enemies usually like to be, stuff like that, because I, I eventually want to transition to ESE or face it. In order to do that, I'm going to need to know callouts and smokes, flashes, molotovs, grenades, stuff like that. So uh, I've learned a good bit from um, just playing around these maps, but let me show you what I do. Uh, let me get this open back up and go to back into my CFG folder config folder Steam, Steam Apps, Common, CSGO and CSGO, CFG and it doesn't matter which side you pick humans can only be terrorists so what I usually do is that exec uh, practice like that and then just do that, let me find it in my CFG folder, there it is. Edit with Notepad, and that's this is what it does. Um, so it says cheats to one, uh, zero people on a team. I guess is what that means. Uh, don't team balance. Round time sixty minutes. Diffuse time sixty minutes. Max money sixty thousand. Start money sixty thousand. Freeze time zero. Buy time pretty much the entire time you're in here. You can buy anywhere on the map at any time. Infinite ammo. Uh, increase your grenade limit to five so you can hold uh, I mean you don't really need it I guess unless you want to buy decoys or something or if you buy an extra flashbang by mistake uh, kicks all the bots ends the warm-up it shows a trajectory and I guess how long the trajectory <laughs> lasts show impacts where you're shooting how long they last uh, bind alt, bind no clip to alt and restart the game uh, which you also uh oh what is that Okay, what you also want to do probably is put on God mode because your Molotovs can hurt you if you don't. And then what I do is I just practice my smokes. So smoke top mid, and then I go see the top mid smoke, and it lands great, yay! I don't know if I can do this smoke. Just give me a nice, give me a second. And smoke mid window, just stuff like this. Practicing A execute smokes. I'll try to go through all of them. Just uh, I might need to do this in a separate video actually, because what you came here to for today was to see how I warm up. Uh, I'll just do a few. And that smoke CT stairs, and uh, I call that jungle, but I'm not sure if it's actually jungle. I would I would say it's like. I don't know. Sometimes whenever people say they're going to smoke jungle, they smoke right here. And that leaves uh, the stairs open. But uh, I don't want to waste too much time on this because the video is already like 10 minutes long. So let me disconnect. And then the final thing I do before I actually go into act uh, playing any competitive is I just hop on a Dust 2 deathmatch game. And I play deathmatch until... I get the number one score in the server. Uh, sometimes it's hard to do, but usually, uh, I'm not sure if everyone that's watching this video should uh, set that as an expectation to being the highest score in the server, because I'm not sure how much that correlates with my skill. Uh, usually, I'm I'm a legendary eagle, I would say. I haven't been legendary eagle in a little while.
And right now, I'm also playing on 60 frames a second, I think, instead of 180. So, I'm not going to be as good as I usually would be. And I have been playing in... Thousand by seven hundred resolution usually, but playing in nineteen twenty by ten eighty right now, so it's a little bit smaller on the eyes, a little bit harder to see things compared to usual. I could also do some videos about how how to get better in the game, because whenever whenever I first started in CS:GO, I was a silver one. That's that's where I got placed. That's where I got placed in matchmaking rank along with my friend. And we climbed all the way from Silver 1 to a Legendary Eagle together. And that was it. So I won't play this I won't play through this whole death match because it's still five more minutes. And this is to be sort of a short, concise video about what I do when I want to warm up for some matchmaking. So, I can see the frames. Let's get out of this. Disconnect. Uh, I'll try to I'll try to cut out as much as I think that should be cut out from this video. I don't think that everything should be included. So that that's what I do before I actually go into a official matchmaking competitive game. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Hopefully you found some like workshop maps you you may not have known about and maybe could help you in the future, uh, especially the well, honestly the uh, crosshair generator is probably the most important one, with aimbots being uh, sort of helpful. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like on the, on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel if you are new and you would like to see more from me in the future. Uh, hit that bell button down below to get notified of when I upload. Now, again, right now, I usually don't do CSGO videos. I'm, I'm doing my Red Dead Redemption series and a few Fortnite videos here and there. But maybe if this video gets some good reception, I might do a couple more CSGO videos, see what happens. So thank you so much for watching. This has been Geno, and I'm out. Peace.